Isn't, isn't one of the other benefits of uh, DNSSEC that it's delegated authority? You can, yes. once, once you get that top level certificate authority, you can create as many certificates under your own domain as you want, as possible. Whereas right now you have to buy a certificate for every every little different host name that you can think of. Like I said, you have to keep doing these interactions with external third parties, and it doesn't. Stay. Or you run your own internal CA, which you have a major key management problem because no one has your roots. And, and if they do put your roots in their browsers, then they're stuck with trusting you for everything under the sun. There you go. So the, the present system is really good at backing you into corners as a, as a network operator. And frankly, you know, DNS has 25 years of proving that it works for everything but trust. And the things we're missing for trust, DNS has waited for us. But, and, and, and X509 uses DNS to spawn that initial trust uh, when to we're get to a. Talking about web as a yes. Yeah. When we're talking about the, the, the part of X509 that has been a success. No. X509 has only been a in terms of you know, outside of outside of certain awards. What's any sort of success? Any. Um, Bottom line point that I'm trying to make is we have to fix authentication. We have to. It is killing us. It's killing me personally. <laughs> we have to fix this class of problems. We don't have the right technology for it today. There are short-term issues with the technology that we're fixing or resolving because to be pragmatic, you can't just leave it broken. We've got to do this better.